Morning everyone. It's a bit of an overcast day today, so I'm expecting some rain. Um, so I'm just around at the runoff from uh, we uh, break feeding the heifers on this uh, Hogan annual ryegrass that we put in. Um, so I'm just taking them off now. They got put on here at 8 o'clock. I put them on here and then uh, they're going down to a, we're using this paddock just here, sort of like a standoff paddock where we're giving them their silage and they get a bit of grass. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, yeah, but just, it's keeping them off this grass, so I guess we're just trying to protect this uh, annual because I would like to get more grazings out of it. Um, and I'm hoping uh, we're not doing too much damage to it, it'll regrow quicker. So, if I had a break down the end here, So they were on here for three hours, and um, we'll see what I haven't actually had a look at it. See what it's like back here. All right, so you can see where they grazed yesterday. So this was yesterday's break they had, and then that's today's. So this is pretty good. I'm happy with this. Um, Still got a little bit there, which means it hasn't been eaten right down to its base. So that's what they're going into. That looks really good what they're going into. Um, so I guess in I know a week's time, I'll come and have a look at this and see if I can see if the annual is uh, regrowing faster. So as I said in the last video, we've got this paddock to compare to, so it wouldn't surprise me if this annual ryegrass catches up to this paddock and the paddock over there, which were all grazed before this one. So it's all a bit of a trial. I know you gotta try different things. So I'm actually going to, so they've actually got one more break here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a break up on the other side because obviously we've split this paddock sort of in half and we'll, we'll set up a break down here and I'll let them and have this break and then I'll let them have that one to try and because it means it's one less day where they're not walking over this here so I think that'll help the grass a bit I'm sure there's plenty of other farmers that do this. I wouldn't be the first, but it's the first for for us. And I guess the outcome we want is we want to be able to grow more grass, so um, and as low a cost as possible. So this annual ryegrass here um, is growing really well, from what I've seen. So we may be planting more of that um, to be able to feed the the cows that we winter, or the heifers and the cows that we winter around here. So probably in the next three days, at the end of this week, we will draft out some cows and bring them around here, get them trucked around here. So, yeah, I'll go and show you where we'll put the heifers. Alright, so this is where we're standing the cows off, or this is where they're getting their silage. Um, it's just a, the paddock we normally put the bulls in. The bulls usually graze this one. So the uh, heifers come in here and have this silage and stay in here for the rest of the day. So we just give them a little bit of grass. You can see, you can see it's uh, just that piece there. And I'll feed out the other silage bales on the back of the tractor. I'll feed that out down on this side. Um, the grass isn't the longest, but it's only just to stand them off on really. Um, just to come and take a look at the heifers. A few of them are starting to spring up, which is good. It's always a good sign. It means we're getting close to calving. Uh, 
happy with their condition. They're looking very good. There was one that I spotted when I was bringing them to here and uh, I think she would be our first heifer to cow if she's at the back of the pack. Got a bit more of an udder on her. I hope she's not too early. I think it was that one right there. Yeah, that's uh, how we're grazing off our annual ryegrass. Uh, hopefully it's going to pay off for us. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Out our other videos, family farming and fun. You can also check us out on Facebook. Uh, see you. We'll see you another time. Thanks for watching.